Hi there. Welcome to Craft with Kathy. I found my surface. I couldn't find it last night for Club Couture. Let me open this up and show it to you. It is an acrylic base. And of course, I had it between papers. Too much paper shuffling, doing taxes, and reorganizing the craft room. The reorganization of the craft room um, has gone through a very transformative experience. I've learned not to sort things down into the narrowest of categories of making myself crazy trying to do that. So I'm simplifying things a little bit. I swear I think it's going to be an ongoing process forever, but whatever. I will share. When I get things a little bit more done, I'll show what I've learned. So this is the acrylic base. It comes with these two holes already in it and a little piece of twine or jute so that you could string it or hang it up. And this is the transfer, April's Club Couture transfer. It's called Bold Lemons and it's pretty, pretty awesome. I'm going to cut it in part and in, in half because it is a, a double layer. You can use both pieces, um, or you could use one or either. It really depends on what you want to do. Um, the choice is up to you. I think I grabbed the wrong scissors again, didn't I? I'm going to cut the two designs in half. This is such a bright and cheery transfer. Beautiful for spring, summer, and even events. The lemons are just so cheerful. Wouldn't this be great in your kitchen or on the kids' lemonade stand? I'm not cutting through to the backer sheet. I want my backer sheets to be intact so that when I put both pieces back on them after I've cleaned them and used them, um, I could see both images when they're hanging in my, in my armoire. So that's why I'm only cutting the top instead of all the way through. I'm coming at you from the suburbs west of Chicago. Drop me a line and let me know where you're viewing from. Now we've had a select number of pieces or surfaces with that are acrylic in the last couple months. And they've all come with a little protector sheet on it. So... When you get your Club Couture, remember, when you get April's Club Couture, remember to take off this little protective sheet. Um, it's on both sides. You want to remove this before you chalk on it. You'll get much better results that way. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to hop right in here. Club Couture. <clears throat> now comes with either an embellishment or a surface, an 8.5 by 11 inch transfer, and three individual paste packets or ink packets. We did have ink um, a month or so ago, which was a, a first for Club Couture. <clears throat> and when you first sign up for Club Couture, you also get a mini squeegee with your first kit. So basically, everything you need to create a project. Generally, you pick your own surface, but this is such a cool surface. They've included it for this month. But because it is acrylic, my transfer, which is adhesive back, is going to stick very, very strongly. So I want to remember to fuzz this quite a bit before I use it because I don't want to have a difficult time like I did with the, the protective sheet lifting it off. So depending upon what your what your actually what your surface is, you will fuzz a little bit differently. If you are applying your transfer to glass, metal, acrylic, mirror, which is obviously glass, <clears throat> you want to fuzz it quite a bit because it'll stick very strongly, and you fuzzing softens that adhesive on the back. It actually applies a little bit of lint to it so that things don't stick quite as strongly, which makes it a little bit easier to lift it off your surface when you're done using it, if that makes any sense. So we're just fuzzing, or I'm just fuzzing, so that it doesn't stick to my surface 
quite as strongly as it would otherwise. Now, if I was applying this to wood or chalkboard, maybe I'd fuzz it three times. I might have overdone it a little bit here, but it is a brand new transfer, so <clears throat> I wanted to fuzz it quite a bit. And then I'm making sure that I'm applying this in the direction I want. My holes are at the top for hanging, and I'm going to put the, this at the top so that my leaves are at the top. And then gently smooth it down. You don't have to apply any heavy pressure, but you want to make sure that there aren't any air bubbles in the silk screen. And the silk screen is the area that you could actually see through. And I'm going to use meadow chalk paste for my leaves, but I'm going to use our new pucker for the actual lemons. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? Got a little shimmer and shine to it. So <clears throat> I'm going to hop in here and get moving. I am going to use my metal out, metal out of the packet. And if I have it, if you haven't seen how I use my individual packets, first you want to massage the paste or the ink a little bit before you open it up. And then I always squeeze it up towards the color block up here because I'm going to cut it from the bottom instead of the top. I always want this little color block intact so I can see it and know what it is. And actually one of the easiest ways is to just kind of hit it with a squeezy, squeegee and squeeze all that paste back. And then I just snip off a corner and I'll squeeze it into my little dish here. I don't need a lot. And there's plenty enough in here for another use or multiple uses. So I'm going to rotate and turn this as I need to get just the lemons because <clears throat> the lemons are surrounded by leaves <clears throat> and I want to do the leaves in the green, obviously. If you're not familiar with our products, we have two primary mediums that we use to create our designs. One is our chalk paste, which is what I'm using right now. And the other is our ink. And the ink is perfect for anything that's going to be washed. Ceramic cups, fabric, t-shirts, anything that you're going to wash, you want to use the ink so that it's permanent. Our chalk paste is washable off of many surfaces, especially chalkboard. dry erase board, mirror, metal, and glass. On wood, not really, because the pigment of the paste will seep into um, the porous surface of the wood. And usually, if you try and rinse it off or wash it off, the wood is stained by the pigment of the paste. But what's cool about the fact that it, it's washable off of many surfaces that allows you to take a surface, use it, and then reuse it. When the seasons change or the holiday changes, wipe it off and reuse the surface. How cool is that? So I'm just gently going over the silk screen with my squeegee, spreading the paste. The silk screen allows us to get a beautiful high definition image with a lot of detail. And then I'm kind of wiping off the excess a little bit there. And on to my next lemon.
this cute little acrylic surface can be hung up like kind of like a oh I can't think of what they're called where you hang them in the window a sun catcher or whatever or it actually fits perfectly in our A-frame surface that is on sale right now. Look in the special section on the website. It's a really good deal. Okay, one more lemon and then I'm off to do the leaves. See how quick and easy this is? Now we have other tools like our multi-tool and our detail tool that are great for getting into small areas which is generally what I would use for the leaves here however I don't think I have one out here um, so in a pinch I'm just gonna cut one of my mini squeegees into a smaller piece Okay, I'm removing the excess, putting the excess back into the jar. Oh, time for a, a sip of coffee. And I'm just going to cut the squeegee in half. And that'll work fine for me. And grab a little of the meadow paste here and start working on my leaves. Just needed something a little bit smaller when it comes to getting in between the lemons. I'm just turning. Notice I'm always bringing the squeegee towards me. That's just the way I do it. If it's more comfortable for you to go away instead of towards yourself, then that's what you do. Whatever works. If you can butter toast, you can chalk or ink. It really is that easy. And a little chalk paste goes a long way. You see, I just took a little dab of the green or the meadow here, just squeezed out a teeny little bit amount into my little um, chalk tray, chalk paste tray. Okay, let's get these leaves in between. Everybody's pretty quiet this morning, huh? A little too early. I like getting up early in the morning. I like the quiet. I like hearing the birds chirp in the spring and the summer. Of course, I don't have the... It's a little cool here yet, but we're supposed to get up near 70, so that's pretty absolutely wonderful, actually. But it's still, I think, in the 40s yet, so it's a little cool to have the windows or door open. Now, in case you're wondering, you can mix paste and make your own colors if you want. So if I wanted to add a little bit of lighter green here, I could actually mix it with a little bit of my, well, it comes with bumblebee, or I could actually mix it with a little bit of our bright white and lighten it up and add highlights or whatever. But I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do that for right now. Let me just take a look at this and make sure I have everything covered. <gasps> well, Nothing like wearing your project first thing in the morning. Okay, let me smooth this out and remove any excess paste there. I think I'm okay. We'll see. 
I'm going to lift it up slowly, take a look at it as I go, because if I missed a spot, I could lay it back down and catch it. This looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do so you can get a better look at it, Isn't it beautiful? And look at how quick, simple, and easy that was. But this isn't all. <laughs> There's more to come. Seriously, I think this would be beautiful just as it is. But there's another design that it comes with. And um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do it or not. Um, I don't know. I have to think about it a little bit more. I like this see-through, basically. But if I wanted to, I could chalk the back with maybe the guava and basically have a guava background instead of see-through. I don't think I'm going to do it on this. I think I like it the way it is. Can you see the shimmer and the sparkle of that pucker? Oh my goodness, it's absolutely, I, you know, we have shimmers, but this is, this is way better than it, any of our shimmers that I've ever seen. Our, our color of the month is called Pucker. It's available with a $75 purchase. And this, I swear, is just the most amazing chalk paste I've seen. It has more shine and more shimmer to those lemons that I've ever seen on anything before, and I'm probably not catching it in the light the right way, but it is absolutely awesome. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm so dazzled by it, I can't speak right now. I have to think about it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to move this to the side and quickly clean my transfer. I'll show you how easy it is to clean your transfers. Um, ideally, you could go over to, a, to the sink and um, just wash them, run them under water, and use, I think the easiest way is to use our board eraser. I'm just giving this a little spritz on the back so it doesn't stick to my surface here. And then I'm going to grab a board eraser. If you don't have a board eraser, you could use your fingers. But I like using a board eraser. It just makes it so much quicker, especially when I'm cleaning it at the table. So I just wet it down. Our board erasers are reusable. And then I just go over my surface. I'm probably going to get some staining um, of probably the pucker and the green meadow on here because they are very highly pigmented. But that's fine. Our transfers are reusable 8 to 12 times or more. And if the surface gets a little stain from the pigment, it doesn't hurt the usability or the functionality of it at all. It just doesn't look as pretty, the transfer. But your actual projects will be as good the first time as the last. I'm getting a Clorox wipe, a disinfecting wipe, out of the canister and it's stuck. Whoops. The whole lid popped off. Okay. Let me clean this off a little bit more. Make sure I have all of the paste out of the silk screen. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. The sticky side. I usually don't use a board eraser on the sticky side or the adhesive side. I, want, um, I don't want to diminish the adhesiveness of it. Now I put, I fuzz this like crazy and I deliberately put lint on it to make it less sticky. But now when I go over it with the disinfecting wipe, I'm removing that lint to make it as sticky as possible again. So once I get all the paste off, I just go over it in one direction with a disinfecting wipe. You do not want to ever use baby wipes or anything with lanolin or moisturizer in it. And if you could see, I just picked up some of the teal from the fuzzing cloth 
on my white. So I just want to go in one direction, get all that fuzz off, and now I'm going to lay this on a flat surface. Actually, I'll do it on the table over in the corner and let it dry sticky side up. Make a little room here. Once it's dry, I will put it on the backer sheet so that I could reuse it for the next time. Now, how simple and easy was that, right? I'll let this just dry a little bit longer, um, which is fine. It gives me the opportunity to chit-chat a little bit. Our summer release is coming out in the next few days. And actually, it debuts Tuesday. And Tuesday evening, I'm going to have a live presentation talking about the products, um, giving some demos. We're going to do some giveaways for prizes and whatever. And it will be from my Craft with Kathy page on Facebook. Everybody is welcome. There's actually a little post at the, in the featured section of the page right now. And if you'd like to share it with anyone, please just feel free to go ahead and do that. So grab your buddies and let's get together Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central Time, and have some fun. I'm going to create some pre-recorded little demos. And I'll be popping back and forth live for the giveaways and to answer any questions and whatever else. Um... The Summer Bration collection is absolutely amazing. It is just beautiful. There are some additional lemon items in the, in the offering. Um, the lemon, um, lemons are really hot right now. Let me show you what to do with this paste. Um, because I only use a teeny bit of it. What I want to do is squeeze as much paste as I can back towards the bottom or what was actually the top right get it squeezed down in there because I could reuse this don't throw your paste packets when you finish a project out all you need to do is squeeze the paste down now obviously I have some paste squishing out here right because I had some at the top let me get the rest of it out Ooh, boy did I make a mess but you want to get your paste squeezed down, and then you're going to roll down the top part. Our chalk paste is water soluble, so cleanup actually is very easy. Even though I made such a mess, all I have to do is just wipe it up with a wet cloth or rinse it off really that simple. If I do see like I've got a little staining, I could hit it with a board eraser and just clean it up with that. You're going to roll down the top part, the part you opened. And then seal this with either um, some washi tape, a paper clip, painter's tape, whatever. You want this sealed so that it's airtight. And look at how much paste I still have in there. I hardly used any of this at all. So seal it up and put it aside for a future use. Of course, you can make this for yourself. And then when you're done, make a version of it for a friend. Make it as a gift for someone. Do whatever you want, right? Okay, I think I'm done with the pucker. And I'm going to get the other part of the transfer out. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should do some of the, the slices in the pucker over it. I can't decide how I really want this to be. Generally, this piece is used over the lemons that I just chalked. Um, I'm going to fuzz it, and as I fuzz it, I'll think about it a little bit more of what I want it to look like. Mm -hmm. 
You could do it however you want. I've seen this used with white, um, just white over the front of it. Lots of different ways. And before I chalk over what I've already done, I want to make sure that this is dry. Okay, this looks good. Um, and remember, you could also take the protective covering off the back and chalk the back if you wanted a background. Or you could actually put this on the back if you wanted. It really depends on what you want to do. There's lots of options for doing this. I'm going to put this on the front because I'm toying with the idea of, of putting a colored back on there, but I don't think I'm going to. But I, I love how I could create a project without a lot of supplies in such a short period of time. So much fun and so, so easy. There are, um, if you could see right down here, there's a registration mark. And I didn't color it, I didn't paint chalk it when I did the first layer. But what you do is you chalk over that registration mark. And then when you have something that's a second layer like this, you line it up and you line up the registration mark and um, chalk the rest of the design. I'm going to kind of wing it. I don't think I really need to go with the registration mark. But then when you're all done, just remove the registration mark from the surface. If you are using something that it cannot be wiped off like wood, just put a piece of washi tape or painter's tape there and chalk on that part with the registration mark. Now I'm fuzzing this quite a bit because I'm not, I'm going to be putting it over paste that already exists and of course on an acrylic surface. So I want to really, really diminish the stickiness of it. And look at me. Sometimes I could be dangerous <laughs> in too much of a hurry. Are you like that? I find that still, even as an adult, I had this problem as a child. I wanted to do everything. Too many interests and just whatever. And actually, my mom encouraged it. It was like, go for it. Which is great, except sometimes I could be a little... It can seem to be a little unorganized because of it. Okay. So I'm going to go in this direction. Lay it back over it. I might just go in the white. I'm really torn on this. I think I'm going to use the white. I'm going to smooth it down, make sure I don't have any air bubbles. Instead of my bright white, white I'm going to use some of my Shimmer Frost. And basically, I was thinking these flowers would be so pretty in white. I'm going to go over the whole surface just in the Shimmer Frost. Make this really quick and easy. Oops. Um, well, it's a little thick, but I should really thin it down, but I'm going to just wing it. You want to work fairly quickly with paste because you don't want it to dry in your silk screen. And especially on the acrylic surface, I want to work a little bit faster because the transfer sticks so snugly to it. So I'm just going over it really quickly. I'm using my Shimmer Frost paste, which is a white with a little bit of shimmer in it. I think I've got everything covered here except the flower at the bottom, the flower and the leaf. I'm going to wipe off any excess paste here, remove any lines or streaks. Make sure I have everything covered. And let's do a peel and reveal.
Oh yeah, I think the white was the right touch here. It's light and bright and really summery. What do you think? I think this is such a beautiful transfer and lends itself to so many different ways to, um, to use it that I'm going to hunt down some other surfaces and I'll probably be showing you a couple different examples in the next few days. But please feel free to RSVP to Tuesday nights live. Like I said, it's 7 p.m. Central. Get Craft with Kathy. Some demos. Some reveals of the new designs and giveaways. So please join me. I'd love to see you there. We'll have lots of fun. And you'll get to see some of the new on-trend things that are happening. And of course, any questions that you could have about chalking or decor or inking, there's going to definitely be some inking projects. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I'm in love with the new designs. My order came yesterday, and it was like Christmas morning opening up that box of goodies. And I can't quite show them to you yet, but wait till Tuesday. I am going to be dropping a couple hints about things in my VIP group and in the um, Craft with Kathy page. I think I'm going to post a poll or something and allude to some of the things that are included with the new designs. You'll have to stop by and check them out later today. Okay, I've got the paste off, just cleaning up the back, removing the lint. See how it's picking up the, whoops, the teal. Just move that all off. Set this aside to dry. And when this is dry, I'll thread the, um, the jute, the little hanger through it. I don't want to do it while it's wet. I'll let it dry and show you it hanging by itself and then show you it also in the little A-frame so you've got an idea about the versatility of it. And I also have to take the little protector sheet off the back, which will make it a little bit more translucent, but I don't want to do this while it's wet. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I truly do appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you soon.